Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the next topic. Yes. All right. Uh, we're gonna go back to Steve. We are okay. gonna. Go back. Because right, this gonna... is this is the this is our fourth topic. So do you guys want to go serious, or do you guys want to just go with the one that I just thought of right now? Let's go. Let's, with, no, no a, a serious one. I wanted the serious. one that you mentioned. Oh, the one I mentioned. Okay. Uh, like I said, I don't know how to word it, but apparently right now there are um there are actual neutral bathrooms that they're creating for kids, as far as like you know transgender kids that you know are confused and they're creating neutral bathrooms for them and they're even talking about. When they try to go join sports, they're gonna have somebody check the kids to see whether or not they go into a boy like soccer team or a girl soccer team. Now check, yes. is it optional, or they have like they sorry. have to be checked because they're they're marking it some way they know that they've they have identified themselves as transgender. Right, that's the thing. I mean, how would you know, really? Like, I mean, so if like, you see a girl that, like, has a really short haircut but looks like a boy, but you don't know yourself as a person, like, whether or not they should be on a girl or a boy team. So you don't know if that's really a boy or not, I guess. Okay, so, so the individual has identified themselves as either not knowing or knowing and being transgender. Trans and then when they – trans – sorry, transgender. And then yeah. when they sign up for a sport – they have to pick, or if they don't know, they have to be checked to see, right? Oh, if, not not the kids themselves, like the the the, this would be like the from, teachers, like the people on, you know, like the staff, like they don't know. Like what the coach is like, okay, like right. drop trowel and right, exactly, something like that. The... So if okay, so if a girl a girl has short hair, or sorry, a, a transgender girl, so a girl who wants to be a boy, or th or, or is a, right is a boy mentally, like or whatever. I don't. I apologize. I'm ignorant, so I don't know how they prefer to be described. But they go on. They, they maybe they may even make the football team. You're saying like, if the coach has suspicions, the 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 person in question has to be checked by by a doctor of some kind. I think this is a bit dangerous. There, you know what I mean? Like, I yeah. think there's. There's some things there, like yeah, I don't know if the like the coach or any of that, you know, a person and that's the personnel that's looking over that has that kind of right to know what's happening in a, in a child's subjective mind, you know what I mean? And also, like, how are they gonna? You know, a male is a, a male is a male. You want to be a female, I understand that, but there still is physical differences between the two when competing in sports. So right. if you have a male mm. that wants to be a female yeah. as a transgender and he's going to play soccer. He's going to most likely have a uh, uh, physical attributes that are going to be um, obviously different than the regular female's uh, body. Um, and if, if competing physically for the ball might have advantages, which is unfair to uh, the girls who decided to play. I, would, um, I understand that that's, that's definitely the majority, but I would, ch I would challenge that assumption. Because mm -hmm. I, I've known w women who have gone on wrestling teams and played for the men's wrestling team and dominated. I'm not saying that they can't. <laughs> yes. I'm right. saying that, like, <laughs> it's just, there's, there is, like, I have, you know, I am full on, you know, uh, love for women and, and women playing in sports. Like, like Ronda Rousey doing uh, MMA right now. And she's kicking yeah. ass, dude. She's kicking ass. And she could whoop my ass any day. Yeah. I'm not saying that women aren't tough. Not by any means. I am saying, though, that when you are taking two, you know, uh, a different sex and, in, and entering them into that sport. So, okay. What if we had a guy like, uh, like a Tyson, right? And he is transgender mentally. He wants, he's a woman in his mind and he goes and says, I should be, you know, fighting Ronda Rousey in MMA because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a female and, uh, they allow that to happen. Do you feel like that would be like physically on a physical level? Um, that would be fair. Kind of. Someone like Tyson versus Ronda Rousey. Kind of, because I think your point is you're saying style. Mike Tyson is a very big individual. That's what I'm trying Regardless to say. Regardless of yeah. talent. But Regardless what if, of talent. We're just saying. What like, if someone like China from the wrestling wanted to come to MMA? I mean, she's ginormous. She's big. And she's a woman. Right. So physicality and size, I don't know if that's really a fair uh, question, right? Because, yeah, he's big and he should do that. But we also see seven foot four people not play basketball. And it's like, well. You should probably play basketball because if if you work at it, you'd be good. So I, I mean, think, I think if all things were equal, like you had a super jacked woman like China and like mm -hmm. a super jacked dude like whoever, like I feel like evolutionary, the man because of I mean, not counting any sort of hormone treatment for both, sure. I think that the man would have more physicality than the the woman counterpart, you mm -hmm. know. Just because, like, more natural testosterone in the body, like, 
you know, they can grow more bigger, muscle bigger, mass, more compared muscle to women. mass. Yeah, exactly. Men, women have more, they have more fat mass, which is guys, not, not saying women are fat. They just this is <laughs> science. <laughs> I don't more fat. You guys got to be thinking too. It's, like, it's also it's also high school. That's no, that, that's that's the thing. Like for sure, high school, sure. like, I think yeah, yeah. They, they're still developing. Right? They're, they're, they're still, still developing. Like I feel like yeah. it, naturally. Most of the guys that would want to do the sports or girls, I mean, identifying as either gender, like him or her, the uh, anatomically men, anatomical men would have more of an advantage because there, there's no sort of like they're not going undergoing like some sort of treatment to become, you know, complete their uh, like switch and right. gender. So yeah. I feel like that'd be really weird, especially with like the bathroom mm-hmm. thing. It's like obviously if a a guy wants is like a, a woman mentally and he wants to go in the women's bathroom, it's not like he's undergone something to yeah like change the, his his anatomy yet yeah. at that mm-hmm. age, so, right? So you so think it, yeah. so you think that the the transgendered bathrooms are a good idea then? Like, I don't know. It's hard because yeah. I feel like it could be exploited by just pervs. You know, like obviously I think mm-hmm. there's that that risk sure. of people just being kind of like really sketchy, and I understand why they want to do checks, but then checking people. I don't really agree with. Yeah, I don't agree with um, that at all. Like that's, I think that's like definitely in, like a territory that you shouldn't go into. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm still a little confused. Maybe you guys can have, like, why do you need to check? Like, I, someone's claiming they are something, and you don't think it's true, right? So you're checking to right. call false on them. Yeah, the, I think like kind of what I'm saying. Like, they're worried, you know, people are gonna exploit this. Like, a dude's just gonna want to go into the women's bathroom because right. it's nice when he's like. Oh, I'm, girl. I'm transgender, but like or I'm, the women's basketball team. He's six foot yeah. seven. And he's like, oh, I feel like a female inside, but really, uh, he, maybe he doesn't, and he's just yeah. dunking on everybody. You know what which I mean? I don't, like, which I don't get in the first place too is why you know schools would be doing that in the first place because I mean, don't they get like birth certificates like that say what they are on it? You yeah, know but I mean? here's the thing that's the fine line. There is there is this is coming out right now a lot more than normal because it's being accepted, you know, and that's yeah. fine. It's that's not a problem. I also don't want to see these kids. Kids, you know, not being able to participate in the sports that they want to participate in because right. they're they're still still children of the world and they want to be able to do the things that they enjoy to do. So I think this is like a really crazy fine line on figuring yeah, out. Yeah, it's, it's I think it's like, uncharted territory right now. Yeah, for sure. it's 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 gonna be that's gonna be a very difficult one and a touchy one too on figuring out like it is very interesting because we're we're gonna be the people that kind of decide that i mean our maybe not quite our generation maybe ish around our generation or the generation before like maybe like older older siblings or something they're kind of going to be in those authority positions to shape what's going to happen with you know the youth of today as well so So i think uh, it's important to to think about these things now mm -hmm. because it's going to be way more prevalent in our society you know when our our parents are gone and everything you know we're going to have to be dealing with this all the time so no. I'm still trying to get my head wrapped around. So if a male <laughs> claims that he's he's a female, and right. for, mentally he's been a woman his entire right. life, like, yes, and, yeah, and, and, and most, he's most a likely he's probably on some type of hormone treatment. If well, maybe being not serious. If they're being serious about, that. I don't think that they, I don't. Know, that's high that's school. What I, was, I don't know. I think that would yeah, not high school. Pure, okay, so pure. how do you not really, most, that's what I was saying about the screening process. Then how do they do this, right? Like, because how are you going to find out truly what's going on in a person's yeah, mind? You have to check the genitalia, right? And I think that's wh- okay. That's so, and I think that's what to. hasn't been said yet is like people are defining the gender based off genitalia, and that's why there's a check, right? So, regardless of what someone says or feels, it's I think the school is saying it comes down to your genitalia. So, unless you've had surgery, I think. Uh, if you got balls, you're a guy to us, and if you got a vagina, you're a girl to us, and that's yeah. all that matters to them. Yeah, and, the, so. what, and that's in question. I think that's totally right? what what's, I'm the the issue is. Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. should they be doing that check to look at your? Well, right. that, that's why should I was that matter? Should is genitalia be the thing that matters? That's why I was wondering if the check is occurring because they're going through some type of like hormonal treatment and they're saying, okay, yeah, yeah, they they're being they're switched over or they're being but switched over or like how, you know, how do they there know? hasn't been a check yeah. yet. I'm just saying that, that they're no, I know, I know. Where are the checks, Steve? <laughs> saying that that's what they're yeah you're saying that that's what they're announcing right now that they're going to be yeah. kind of moving the direction of yeah so, i feel like just looking at that though like that doesn't 
really yeah. get into like what they're they're like as a person or anything, you know. Like, so instead of a coach, perhaps it. it should be a psychiatrist or something. No, it's that's definitely like... not a coach that checks. It can't be. That's elite. Like there is a doctor. <laughs> you go when you go when you go to get a physical. You get a doctor. Yeah, yeah. The coach it's is not there. Probably a yeah. doctor. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, even if it's a doctor, coach. even if it's a primary care doctor, I would still say a psychiatrist, somebody that's dealing with the mind, would be somebody that would be more understandable to say and assess sure. that person is a female in 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 their mind. You know, and I know that he's. Showing the physical attributes and you know of a of a male, he's got balls and all, but mentally he's a female. Yeah. So um, yeah, and then so should genitalia actually be the thing that we care about? I would like, say I don't it, know, man. Well, that's what no, that's it's but like, that was also the point about about the the human right. anatomy, evolutionary right. bodies, like as a developing child or like a teenager at that age group, like high school or something. I feel like one to one, the the male like athletic performance. You know, uh, all things equal, will be at a higher level. But most of these sports are team sports, and I would argue that a woman could probably play a damn good cornerback or a damn good wide receiver because they're they're totally. small, they're quick, right? And so I feel like you could find, like they're not going to be a running back, maybe, or maybe so you, you will in some packages, but like yeah. they so could be saying used. You're saying it'd be an advantage then? Yeah, absolutely, a small okay. person and so like a slot corner or a slot a girl wide receiver. And guys and like in the NFL would be a, a huge advantage. No, I'm high saying school, they could find okay, so in high school I'm, I'm they like can find about, a position for them. I'm worried about saying something like wrong here. <laughs> like, yeah, well, that's, that's, I know it's a touchy I mean, subject like, because we're, like we're because I, people, I agree we're, with we're, we're like we're like, like showing yeah. the the general population <laughs> of North America right now. Like I, we're probably yeah. more like open than I'm, than most people. I'm say, yeah, yeah. And I and I apologize if I'm saying anything offensive. I don't mean it. I, like yeah. I'm trying to be no. sensitive here. This is no, still I a new topic. That. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah. Like say you take, I don't know. Say there was woman women football, right? There is now. It's I it's mean, more like, accepting like, for small, women small. though to go like you would you like be as as we are now. You we, it seems to be more. Accepting like see a woman in in a male, I guess football league than a male being in in a female football league. If, yeah. if you can think about that, like it just seems it, more yeah. accepting. Like like we can accept that more. Oh, and she's why, like though. Is that more accepting? Is that because, because like it seems not as good, you know, or not as physically strong? Like why is that we think that? Do we think that oh, male going into the female realm? It's like well, it's kind of like that for a long time. It's unbalanced. Too. I think it's I That's what I'm saying. So, like, maybe it's just more accepting that way. Uh, getting off topic, I guess. But I mean, I don't. No, this is absolutely on topic. This oh, is, is part of the topic? question. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, because like, <laughs> why are you checking? Well, we want to make sure there's no it's disadvantages true. or that you are who you are. Why do you care about that? Well, right. then it comes down to like, is it fair? Like, yeah. right? See, that's what I was trying to say. Is like, I don't want to. I don't want to offend anybody or anything like that because I have so much love for women. But like, I do. I do agree with like Alan. I do feel like there is not always, not always, but like, because we can't. It's, it's, it's so hard. <laughs> you can't individual. You can't individual individualize this thing. You're thinking. I'm thinking like the broad. You know, right. men, women. There, do, I do see in the trend of history that men tend to be more physical, where women. I mean, it's evolutionary, like this, more, because of whatever. More, like you know, honestly, tend to be more emotional. It's like even the way that their minds work. Like one bases things off of appearance. <laughs> one bases off of things like a woman a here right now. <laughs> Look, no, it I'm, no, I'm being honest. Like you guys, like I have, I have two kids right now. I have a four-year-old son and I have a 11-month-old daughter. And watching yeah, but, the way that these two children have been raised, the same by me and my wife, they have completely different personalities on how they react to situations. But that doesn't make one reaction better no, no, than the other. No, I'm not saying that it makes one better than the other. What I am stating, though, is that, in when it comes to physical sports. I do see that boys are constantly excelling when it comes to the physical side. Not where women do have like you do have some women that are like fucking insane that will destroy any man in a sport. But I don't see that as like the mass of women. You know where I see in the mass in, in men's they're well, all being they're all involved in sports. Or if physical. I if I was gonna say that like this issue is like a like a major issue. I mean obviously it is a major issue. But if this was moving forward and I was in charge, I would still make joining a team be based on performance yeah. only. Yes, yes. Like there you that go. would be that would be like defined like in all in all sports I think competition is like the most important part of it. Like if it is make sure it's competitive. So it's like if a woman that if says she's a guy she or guys sling that she's a, a woman football. Stuff, says yeah. that they're like comes out there and wants to practice and they're like just blow everybody away and then fine. you should be on the team. Like I think that should be the first step. It shouldn't be based on yeah. whether you're a, a guy or a girl, guy. trans. And I agree or whatever, with that. You know? Like that's so, yeah. if they just come out and like if we can get that into 
to school systems where they just like, okay, anybody can come try out, and then we always mesh this thing. But yeah. we're still going to hold you to the standard that we've always had the standard for like how you know football or whatever sport should be played. Perfect. Then you yeah. have to meet, you know, reach that level. Right. Who cares what's between your legs or not? Yeah, right. I agree with that. Exactly. Because like I was saying, I've met so many women athletics that have been like have excelled crazily, and that have they just got the same kind of deal? If they had just been, you know, judged, I guess you'd call it on on their performance, some of them would definitely be on men's teams. <laughs> like, and it, it is scary though it's... because there could be you know personal bias in these things. But like, you know, somebody could feel slighted, but like, oh, I didn't, I you know, in the end, I didn't make the team, but I think it's because I was a girl. I'm a girl or something. You know, there's, yeah. there's always that possibility. Sure. Yeah, which which is another barrier that we would as society right. have to just break down. Yeah. But I, yeah. yeah, that's just, kind of like the kind of like a inferiority complex too, you know. Like, and I'm, sure. And I'm just trying to look at from the guy's point of view though, like take that situation that you guys are just talking about though and flip it to a guy's point of view. No. Is the guy going to the girls? The right. Girlies? If he is a girl, and he thinks. Yeah, I mean, I do think, think girls would be more accepting of it though. They have uh, a performance. I think they're more accepting than guys accepting a woman on a I, team for I sure. Do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I would say I think so. so. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's a tough. I don't know. Girls are mean, though, too. I don't know. <laughs> they'll, they'll look, they'll look accepting on the outside, but some will be chatting. They'll be judging. That, yeah, yeah. <laughs> some will be judging. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. I mean, I don't. I mean, that's a like. I, I like that idea right there. What Alan said, though, the performance based like here that's we're not going to judge on sex we're not going to judge on any of that mentally where you're at we're going to judge on can you perform the way we want you to perform to be on this team yeah. you know regardless of sex and if you can it doesn't matter if you're a huge woman a small woman a big guy a small guy it doesn't matter get out there and perform and if you can do it then fine you make the team yeah. you know and that will cut out all that shit <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah okay i guess what steve's saying though also i think is that if a guy does want to he doesn't want to join the men's sports team right. he right. wants to join and the I women's sports team right away he believes he's a woman yeah because he believes he's a woman does does that make it based on you know his evolutionary anatomical body which might possibly be more uh developed for physical activity than a woman's at that time right mm. would he joining the women's team kind of have an advantage over that cuz like yes he might be able to pass the bar on what they consider to be like the high standard for a female athletics team. Right. I think that's one we're going to like yeah. find out when people start <laughs> that's what joining. I'm saying. I'm just, uh, yeah. When men start joining fem female teams, I think we're going to end up finding, oh, yeah, that is lopsided or no, it's not at all actually. Because I like, really think, personally, I think just, well, I probably don't have enough experience or information to, but if they're going to be all like co-ed teams, essentially, but like I like, think a guy, like a, um, a a guy, even if he was like wanted to become a woman or like mentally he was a woman, he'd probably want to compete at the highest level regardless. So even if he felt like a woman, he might still want to play on the yeah. men's the men's exactly team because even if the women want to play on the men's team, like you know that and considering, I'd say accepted to say that like the highest. Like version of the athletics, or like the most competitive level, is the men's level. That's an assumption, like a broad stroke assumption. In many places, the, the men's level is considered like the highest form of competition. Wouldn't right. every like man, woman, or whatever all want to be basically one team playing? Well, that's like, what it I was would. Say. It would like, basically. A lot of caveats there. It would be. <laughs> it would, you would. You would cease to have a men and female varsity. Exactly. You yeah. would have a high school varsity yep. mixed gender yep. play. Yep. And that would be the future, right? Because be once you start allowing crisscross, there ceases to become, really. Right. You know what I mean? Because like, it's just, look, anybody should sign up. I was just going to say the same thing because it's going to be like a co-ed kind of team no, all no, around. I, I, I was going to say you're not. Yeah. But let's <laughs> Steve check it out. They're it. not really co-ed when, when, you're, when you're looking at it from the mental perspective because they truly genuinely feel that they're a part of that you you know, sex. Competitive. Dead. So it's not like it's a man playing on a woman's team. Is it's like a, like a, a man a woman. become a woman playing on a woman's team? It's not co-ed to them. But it's right, right, right. Looking out, being like, I don't understand what's going on up there. But we're, you know, to them, that's still a woman's well, team. 
to your point, okay. So, but to your point and to Alan's point, like, so there's like there's like three things here. It's like, okay, do we allow? Do we allow? Uh, okay, for instance, for example, a man who thinks he's a woman to join a woman's team. Do we then do we allow just co-ed in general? Because what if that said man doesn't want to go on the woman's team? He wants to compete at what he believes, he, like that he wants to be a part of, which is the men's team. So that opens up the door to co-ed stuff, and then so on and so forth. So like. I don't know. I think I think when you start talking about one, it's really easy and natural to go into. Okay, well, do we just start allowing co-ed yeah. stuff to go? Like, what? and I think it has to be not only just like all just in high school, but like maybe down the line, uh, sports in general. Not not yeah. even professional, like early level. Like when you play soccer or whatever. Like when you're a kid, you know, during the summer, you know, yeah. five year olds. It's everybody together, so everybody's kind of used to that interaction from the get go. Like everybody's mm-hmm. playing co-ed or whatever sports yeah. so that there's no kind of delineation once you get to the high school level it's like oh well now i have to pick the girls or the guys like i don't understand it's just yeah. one one team in general and you know just to throw this out there i know that there's a couple of people who don't even consider themselves male or female right yeah there, i mean yeah. i think yeah. it, it applies for everything right yeah. well what i'm saying is that they're i i feel like it's a minority but there's a populace out there that would just would rather be their third own team maybe like maybe they don't identify with male or female they think okay. that they're completely like just not neither they're kind of in the middle or something right call it universal that's, acceptance that's, for this yeah that's what i'm saying, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah and so just be you're joining a male or female team and you're just joining team. like the the highest the level team. competition you know yeah so right, like exactly, if right. whether you're a he or a she or an you know them or whatever or an us then you're just like and you you're want to play sports, you're just trying to play like here. At which point, and then if we get if we get back to the original like part of the topic is like the the change rooms. Like at which point, regardless of what team you're on, we, we would identify you as a male or female, depending on mental or whatever. And those who believe that they are female going to feed because this, this gets into like so like totally <laughs> different topic area because it's like then there's this whole like you know uh, like closeted sexuality of america and like how it's like so weird to like yep. see like a nipple yep. on like a woman exactly. or like you know like i guess this is right. like, that, like, i agree different. with like, that dude you know? what i what worries me about non-segregated stuff like i do worry that there are some individuals in high school that will take a blue male that would just take advantage and just do some bad stuff if that's, they are also saying, in the like, same change as girls like the social like issue of like that's a different oh my issue God, in like, itself that you know, needs to be solved here in America personally. Like sure, I agree with you. Sure, it maybe segregation it's is not like right a band-aid. now, right? Like I think se- that segregation, you know, in the bathroom situations and the dressing rooms is probably necessary as of right now until right. we as a society can get past that stupid shit, and then we can go. Okay, who cares? Changing in rooms, it's whatever. It's nothing uh, abnormal right now. It's we're we I have mean, pervy minds like. We're all set up. We don't see, you know, like like uh, Alan was saying, we see a nipple. We're like, oh my god! Like as a kid, you know, like freaking sure. out. So the the dual change room, I think, would be, uh, you were gonna have for sure, probably some men uh, uh, abusing that situation. <laughs> yeah, do they do that in Europe? Is that a thing where there's like, I mean, because like I just, I can't I even wrap know. my head around being in high school, and that just seems really. Like, I don't know that it, that's necessarily how they do it I there see. like everyone's like co-ed locker rooms but i know that in general like sexuality is far sure. less censored than yeah. in the united states honestly it's because they're seeing it as a, like you were saying as like a young kid if you you're gonna if you're playing the sport at a young kid where you're playing with you know men and women you're not gonna get to high school you know I mean get to high school you're gonna be fine it's gonna be normal it's yeah uh, it's in, like in, europe, social... in europe it's like you see you see naked women naked men on the beach you see them on the commercials mm-hmm. you see them on different things it's like oh, as a yeah. kid you're not like hey, who cares it's nothing it's not and now here in america we don't have that kind of you know yeah. s- society where it's like when you do see that random nipple you're like what the fuck so there is gonna be pervy kids trying to in the you know in the locker rooms be like, mm-hmm. i'm a girl just to See if they can go tell their friends, like, ah, man, I was in the locker room. It was so cool. You know, I saw everybody changing and shit, you know, just, just to pull some shit. I just hear about, I hear enough abuse stories in gender separated locker rooms that it just, yeah, it kind of freaks me out to think the yeah. idea that, like, like, pervy, horny kids who have no idea what, how to do it or control themselves be around women that they, it's yeah. a little just scary. I would fear if I had a daughter or even a son in some cases, I'd just be like, yeah. uh, Mm. It's getting hard, guys. I'm just letting you know that. Jesus Christ. All right. No, not that. No. (laughs) (laughs) 
Well, no, what else are you I talking have, about? I have two girls. I'm just saying. Yeah, I think about that a lot too. Like you know, situations. Wait. Where, like. He's saying like, it's getting hard yeah. as a parent. Like the. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right. I was no. like, she. All yeah. right. <laughs> as you can see, joke. viewers. It's there's still things to change because our minds are instantly up there. I know, seriously, man. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go on. We're gonna move on from this topic. I think we were as elegant as we could be. I think so. With that, with that subject. Fine line. Rock the fine line.